Uh, so Ironwood has actually been captured by the rebels. Oh, but we've just... No, it hasn't. It hasn't. It's... We stopped him. It's fine. Uh, so that next battle should take care of the revolt. And then everything will be fine for about three or four minutes. Uh, someone's trying to claim the Stormlands. That seems like the sort of thing I should ask him to end straight away. I notice Liness is a lot more favourable towards Stannis Jr. Than, in, than she ever was towards uh, Stannis Sr. Uh, yeah, that's 100% war score. Let's, uh, let's deal with that. It was actually a local revolt in the sense that uh, it wasn't against the throne, it was just against uh, me. So I suppose I should do something with the imprisoned. It's tempting to... Uh, I mean, no one cares if I do execute him. Ooh, or I could exile him and gain money. Or I could execute him. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I might gain Stannis a trait or something about, you know, being merciless or some such. Doesn't seem to have done anything really. But, um, but that's him taken care of at least. Sends a message, you know. So I can claim the Iron Throne for other people. One thing I figure is that when Gretchel dies, Stannis will be at least a pretender to the Vale, so if we have to take it by force, I suppose we probably could. Hmm. Interestingly. Uh, yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can actually claim Golden Grove. Um, which is a pretty significant territory, of course. It's all of that area there. Um, big chunk of the reach, former chunk of the reach. Probably worth taking, well, obviously worth taking. We've got, probably, well, we've definitely got enough troops to deal with that. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we're servants of the liege again. Um, and also seem to be, um... Fighting a war against uh, Taita. Oh, the one against the throne. All right, that makes sense now. Oh, okay. So we've not been named Warden of, I don't know, whichever of the three regions that we largely control. Ah, oh, two, I guess. You could call the Vale the East. Oh, wow. Silas has snubbed us twice now. We're not going to be Warden of it anywhere? Uh, so there's another claim on the Iron Throne thing. Is that not the one I'm fighting anyway, or is that a different one? I don't know. I've sided with my king in any case. Um... This chaos seems like a good time to, to claim Golden Grove as well. So we're going to go ahead and, and start that particular war. And, uh, oh, Silas will side with us. Probably. Grand. Well, I guess we, we helped out Silas, so Silas will help out us. Help us out. Good. Good, good. Oh, this is like, uh... It's like it's all one big war that way. It's good, it's consolidating it into one easily manageable war. I say easily manageable, look at those levies, look at them, they're a mess. Oh, okay. Canos Crakehole has... Oh, okay. A couple of people have... I don't know if it was a call to arms or if they're just refusing to lend me their levies, because I think they're both vassals. Um, but that is frustrating. 
So we've got these levies into sort of some semblance of order, but we're not quite there. And we, just, yeah, I'm trying to take it slow, not get caught out too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Game changer. <laughs> I might need a few minutes here. Uh, oh yeah, Lord Hugo is following in his father's footsteps and taking part in ill-advised rebellions against the crown. Starting young as well, he's like five, I swear. Good, so the king is also fighting the Golden Grove troops now. Wow, of which... Oh no, wait, the 20,000 is... It, it's a Red Lake army and I don't think I'm involved in that war, so... Fine, okay. Um, good. So yeah, Golden Grove actually only have a few hundred troops? Can that be right? Where's the rest of them? I chose a terrific time to attack them if that's the case. But yeah, the High Lordship of Blueburn under, under Lady Tita does actually contain quite a lot of territories. It seems to be most of the... no, no, wait, no, it's not all of the... Cockles went as its own High Lordship and so is Golden Grove and Tumbleton. Okay, they don't have that much. Probably have some cash left over though for uh, cell swords and whatnot. Mm, there's the rest of the Golden Grove troops, which is still not much. It's not been a terrific start to the war against, uh, well, Lady Titus Rebellion because she's sort of already cornered 5,000 uh, Iron Throne troops in the Riverlands and taken them out in pretty short order. The Crown does seem to be fighting against the Red Lake troops, but I'm not sure... Yeah, he's trying to put someone else on the Iron Throne, but the King wants none of my help, it would seem. I'm just not involved in that war at all. Strange. Mm, the Riverlands is pretty much a no-go zone at the moment. Enemies are too strong and I don't have enough troops up there. Oh. Uh, Stannis is now Lady Gretchel's heir, though, so that's something. I'm not sure where all of the Golden Grove troops have gone in Golden Grove. They seem to have disappeared entirely. I haven't even fought them yet. Uh, Gretchel wants us to... Uh, uh, has a Vale Northman war over Runestone. Uh, sure, why not? The more the merrier, really. And, oh, would you look at that? There's all those Northern Territories there to besiege. Yeah, okay, I can help out with that. Um... I'll take the uh, inheritance once you die. That's run my reward, I guess. Yeah, that'd be that'd be handy. A lot of Riverlanders bearing down on us. Very few. Oh, it's a war of aggression, right? So she's actually trying to take Runestone back because it's a it's a Vale territory. So it's actually in our interest to fight this. Uh, claim on Atterdale. Sure. I think we had one before, in fact, but we never got around to using it. Or did we? Oh yeah, no, it's our territory. Huh. So she, yeah, she got like a second claim on it after we'd already given it to a vassal. Huh. Daft. So just the three wars going on at the moment then. You know, I like to keep things relatively straightforward. Golden Grove at least should be... Well, it's going to be easy, but it's going to take a while because there's no troops for me to fight. Well, it looks like everyone's heading for King's Landing. Ooh! Stands the fourth as a skilled fighter. Is this a, like a percentage chance or... Three Marshal, one health? No! No, yeah, I think I just... Yeah, get the trait. Nice. Nine Marshal overall. Uh, troop count's steadily increasing. Oh wow, yeah, that's 40,000 troops uh, up against the Iron Throne there. Um, yeah, we should probably reinforce them. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be too late though. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's going to be... Oh. Oh, well, that's weird. We can't even get involved even if we wanted to. Oh, now we're involved. Against a much smaller number of those rebels. I think for once this... Uh, Battle's kind of broken in our favour. Mm. 
Maybe they split off a force to chase down the uh, Iron Throne troops and weren't anticipating me having quite this... Oh, it's because it's the Red Lake troops that were fighting the Iron Throne as well, and I'm for some reason not part of that war. <laughs> Which is just as well, because four would be too many, I think. But that makes this a much easier fight. Yeah, that's a pretty decent victory. It's swung us into the positives on war score. Oh, well, those are the Golden Grove troops. I wonder where they sprang up from. There's a lot of fighting going on in the north. Maybe this is why they're not really doing anything to stop Gretchel's uh, fight for Runestone, which she seems to be winning without our help. Looks like we might get some use out of the old pincer movement thing, oh, unless they choose option C. Not likely though, I think we can hold them in place. Yeah, those Golden Grove troops don't stand much of a chance. <laughs> Surprise 900 managed to get away. Oh, okay. My armies have uh, lost morale. Because the uh, whoever's tending to the wounded has lost their nerve or whatever. Well, all three wars seem to be progressing nicely. The only problem is that there's a fourth one that's kind of important, but I can't seem to interfere with it. Um, maybe later. Okay. Uh, so Stannis is brave, which I'm pretty sure he already was, but okay. But he's also authoritative, which again gives more martial. Oh, terrific. 11 martial. All right. I'm glad we chose this guy for, you know, education. This is working out brilliantly. Uh, so we've captured Loras of Hunt Hills. Uh, not sure who's going to want him. Oh, he's a Tyrell. Oh, I've captured Loras Tyrell to a degree. Well, I could contribute to the extinction of the Tyrell line if I wanted to. But I don't think I will. Ooh, that's not a bad ransom. Then again, he's the one paying it, so he's probably willing to reach that far. We'll let him stew for now. So the only major opposing force actually left, even though we are fighting three wars, is that 20,000-odd uh, uh, group of Riverlanders, but we should be able to deal with that in short order. So, even though we're fighting on a few fronts, we're not in bad shape, I would say. Oh, and that's one more down. Uh, Gretchel won her war against the North. She really didn't need our help. Tempted to ask for hers, if out of spite, if nothing else. <laughs> 